welcome to the next part of torsion in the first session we understand the what is meant by torsion and what is the formula for the torsion and how the polar moment of inertia are found out now in this session we understand how to find the the section modulus and the power of the shaft so the section modulus the first thing is sectional modulus the formula for the section modulus is denoted as z z is equal to j by r so first we find out for the solid shaft so that will be solid shaft we know that solid shaft j is equal to that is polar moment of inertia that will be the pi by 32 d raised to 4 that we find in the first session now we put this value z is equal to pi by 32 d raised to 4 now r r will be the capital 2 means r we know that is the half of the diameter so that's why it's 2 it's got 2 gate cancer we get 16 and here d gate cancer we get a cube so that will be the pi by 16 d cube so we can say that z is is equal to pi by 16 d cube it's the section modulus for the solid shaft now we we'll find for the hollow shaft so for the hollow shaft we know that j will be pi by 32 capital d raised to 4 small d raised to 4 ok so z so z will be j by r so we put the value of j that is pi by 32 d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 divided by here we have to put r value so r value will be capital d by 2 remember that is put always uh, capital d by 2 so that's why it's 2 gate cancel it's equal to 16 and this d remain as it is so pi by 16 capital d raised to 4 minus small d raised to 4 divided by d so this is the section modulus for the hollow shaft now we understand how to find the angle of twist so that will be the angle of twist we have the formula that t by j is equal to g theta by l is equal to tau by r here the angle of twist is here we have to find this value so that's why we use this two equation or this two equation anything we can find whatever the given in the problem depend on that so that will be p by j is equal to g theta by l so to find theta we move g on this side and l on this side so that gives theta equal to tl upon gj so this is the value of the angle of twist remember that this value always in the radian not in the degree if they given in the degree you have to convert that value is in the radian and from this formula we get a value in the radians now next we have to find the power we know that power is equal to torque into omega so value of omega that will be the 2 pi n so for that t into 2 pi n divided by 60 we divide by 60 because n is in rpm remember when n, n is in rpm we divide by 60 so that formula will be 2 pi n t divided by 60 so that answer we get in the watt and the top is in the newton meter okay so this all for the torsion